All right, so in this quick video, we're going to talk about how you'll submit an assignment on Blackboard. Um, you'll see in this course, I have content, unit one, week nine. That's just to represent the different ways that your instructor may organize their content. For this example, I'm going to click week nine. And we're going to look at a Blackboard assignment. So when your teacher says assignment, they may not actually be referring to the Blackboard assignment tool. That's what you'll be seeing in this video. So when you see an assignment, usually it'll have your instructor's um, instructions below, and sometimes they'll have an attachment here if there's a worksheet that you need to download and complete, or if there's some additional resources or instructions that they want to provide to you. You should see the due date if your instructor set one and the points possible. And if they've created a rubric in Blackboard, you'll have the view rubric option. That rubric may also be included in the assignment instructions that the instructor provides. So this is the main area where you'll submit your work on Blackboard for any kind of assignment. If you need to write something quickly, you can type, um, you can click write submission and that gives you this text box. You may only see one row of tools here, so you can click the double arrow on the far right and that'll drop down the menu to give you some additional tools to select. Anyway, you probably won't use the text submission box very frequently because most of your instructors will want you to submit a file, like a Word file or a PDF. Or if you're in uh, maybe a course using Microsoft Excel, you could uh, attach an Excel file here. So you'll click Browse My Computer. And this will give you a way that you can search your computer for whatever it is that you want to submit. I'll just pick this PDF article that I have. I click choose and it shows that my file is ready to be attached. There's a comment box here at the bottom. You can use that to ask questions to your instructor when you submit your assignments. You could say things like, I'm struggling with my introduction. Could you give me some additional guidance here? Or I think I've got my file in the right format. Let me know if you have any trouble opening it. So the comments box is where you just want to give additional tidbits of information to your instructor or ask quick questions. And then you'll click submit at the bottom. If you need to attach more than one file, you're able to do that too. So we have one file submitted here. I can click browse my computer again. I can select another PDF or another Word file or another whatever file it is that you need to submit on Blackboard. And you should be able to um, attach multiple files here. After you've got your files attached and you've typed any comments that you want to include to the instructor, you'll click the submit button. What you should see is that your submission will display here especially if it's a PDF or a Word file. Some of the others may take longer to display or they'll have to be downloaded, which is what this button's for next to each file. If you've submitted late, you'll see this notification here, attempt late. So if you submitted past the due date that the instructor created, you can also click here for additional details. So when the original due date was and the name of the assignment, and finally, there's a start new option. You may not see this on every assignment, but if your instructor allows you to resubmit work, you should see that start new button. But if you don't see the start new button, that means that that's a single submission assignment. So you only get to submit once. So if you have trouble or you accidentally submit the wrong file, you'll have to contact your instructor and let them know. So that way they can reset your submission um, and that'll allow you to resubmit, resubmit with the correct file. Finally, click OK. This takes you back to wherever you were in Blackboard. If you successfully submitted your file, you should get an email to your SAU email address through Outlook that lets you know that your file was submitted 